Welcome, 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 CCTV. This is Chris. How's it going out there? Now, I see that little focus I got going on that um, sun simulator. Well, if you can make it to the end of this video, you'll be convinced that we're not alone in the sky. Okay, and just keep watching. This video is going to be loaded to the end. I'm going to be doing some forensic around the 12, 13, 15 minute mark. And um, for right now, I'm just going to show you a lot of things that Phil's been showing me. So what he's using a high resolution filters like three of them and he cuts out all the glare and we see that ring right now that's the ring right there what you're looking at right there so and the way i did this video um i don't know why i have a black area right there i just had a blackout right there anyways the way i did this video i know i had it is because I want to show you the ring which we've looked at before now the ring right here looks a little bit than the other rings that we have caught this thing is literally like a light bulb with a ring around it okay now here's one of the other types of rings and if you could see that I'm not gonna say nothing right now but if you could see that I'll say something in a minute here just look at it really look at the detail especially Right about three quarters of the way up on towards the top of the screen. What do you see? It looks almost like a man, right? Now this is an ancient ring because I've studied these things, and there's skulls in them. They're, I got pictures of some pretty large ones, which I'm gonna start to upload to the membership thing because they'll let me upload pictures on memberships, just like the community pictures. I'll upload them there too. Um, but the membership stuff goes up first, and then it all comes down to you guys and whatever they'll let me put through um, but look at that it's a man like a man in there anyways i thought it was interesting ancient rings around the sun so when you see those big halos i'll show you one in a minute you'll understand it by the end of this video the sun simulator i think part of its our technology from earth and the other part of that sun simulator could be ancient um, extraterrestrial which i believe are fallen angel technology fallen watchers this ring has got me intrigued you know so keep watching i'm gonna keep showing you stuff i'm put a little music up and then let's see what happens So I call this thing, guys, the sun machine. And I've been wondering about these ring around the sun, right? So what it is, it's a projected, it's not that big. I believe they're big, but not that big. I believe the way they project the light, it makes it look as big as it wants to be, or as big as they want it to be. Now you remember in other videos I've showed you, if you've been following my channel, I showed you the sun simulator, how it simulates light, but it also even says it projects CGI. So a lot of what you're seeing, I'm not saying anybody's trying to you know, fool you out there or lie to you, but they might not know what they're seeing. They might say, look at that, that's Red Kachina. But it actually might be a CGI from the Sun Simulator system. Now, I suggest you go to uh, Jeff P's site, Jeff P channel, he talks about Sun Simulator. He has tons of videos on Sun Simulators. And you can see every aspect of it if you're studying this. So some people just can't grasp it until they start seeing the blueprints from, you know, .govs, right? So, anyway, so there's asteroids. 
I'm going to show you why I'm showing this picture of an asteroid. This is one that got through. Okay? And what I'm about to show you at the end of this thing is going to actually disturb your sleep. So then you got to go to Aurora video. And then go to sleep on the Aurora because that will put you to sleep. Believe me, I get put to sleep on these things making them. So the black, the black dot, pink dot, purple dots we're seeing in the middle of the sun are hiding stuff like this blue object which is cut off because Phil uses a doghouse with a round circle on the top and so a lot of times this stuff gets cut off with a curve. Now this is a video I showed you the other day time lapse. This is just a piece of this video and there's actually five objects. Are they five giant lenses just in case they need to turn the light up? Now right here you see this cluster of rocks okay it's debris and I'm gonna really examine this debris today that's why I'm showing this video last one I did like this I showed you the ring like I just showed you but now I'm gonna show you what I believe this cluster of rocks are so get ready and the music's is gonna get radical not rock and roll but kind of Viking uh, crazy end time apocalyptic music all right so hang on and don't get afraid bye for now Now, as you start seeing this, you're going to wonder, is these rocks, are these popcorn, or these... No, they're real. And um, this is a shot. I cleared it up a little bit, and I just changed the lighting on it. I corrected the exposure. And these are the true colors that are in this thing, hiding amongst all that clusters. And these things are rocks. They're not UFOs. I checked them out, and I'm going to show you at the end of this video. And the music's radical because this is too radical to even show. There's something I haven't spoke about yet there, but if you look to the top of this, thing, it looks just like that on the right right there, like a spaceship. Now it's on the left. I switched the sides. See, this, this shot was caught on the left side. And Phil's caught a number of these, so there's not just one of them. There's different types of them. I'm only showing the one because of the spaceship on top. And you see it, right, to the left right there. Now this is like a whirlwind of ring. Keep watching. pretty intense music right so right here you're looking at all kinds of rocks and debris um, it's just a whole cluster of stuff here I'll tell you the truth I believe this is a spaceship with a tractor beam on a group of rocks uh, it's definitely a spaceship on the left now MUFON has been watching my channel guys and uh, MUFON I don't understand all they do but I know they disclose UFO stuff and he asked me do I think it's real and I said what do you think I'm showing right there I, I personally this was given to me and I think it's real uh, I can't I can't debunk it in any way you know Phil's got some good photos so right here you're looking at the ring in operation 
Uh, you know, we used different kinds of weather used to throw this ring back in the 70s, but it was never every day. And I mean, this is an everyday event worldwide. And so, keep watching, enjoy the crazy music. you guys a question out there how is it that like third phase of the moon and different ufo channels that are really big either they're paying a ton of money for advertisement because i'll show something like this and get 200 hits on it they'll show something like this but three miles away over la and get 115,000. now could it be possible that they don't want you to see it this close those little lights because that's what's going on Okay, beside the sun, we see those orbs, and these orbs look like they're spinning, right? Remember the disco ball? You'll see the video. I'm going to put them back up. Well, the disco ball showed it spinning. Well, what if that spinning action was this thing looking like a white planet or a white moon disco ball spinning or lens flare? So we're a bunch of, you know, idiots down here. We don't pay attention. We do pay attention. But look at that. Now, come on, guys. Look at that. Now, Regina Hill, I love her UFO stuff. She'll get 80,000 hits on a video like this. So what's the difference? I'm showing it too clear. <laughs> so keep coming back, join memberships, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into the forensic in a minute. Okay, and put some more radical music up. Welcome to my forensic studio. Testing, testing. Hey, everybody. Check this thing out. Okay, I'm just going to show you the rest of this for a few minutes. I'm going to put the magnify up to 8. I'm going to put it on auto contrast. This is my forensic tool. And I want to look at these rocks. Now, the reason I know they're rocks is because there's a tool on here I used to see if they were UFOs and identical UFOs, and they're not. Um, <clears throat> this craft right here I'm pointing to and I'm using that magnifier tool it's extremely cool it's a good tool now if you use the auto contrast by channel it will actually give you different colors for this craft this is like a saucer sideways turned sideways these are rocks okay 
Now let me tell you why. If I use this clone detector, right? It says no clones have been detected. Try lowering the similarity. So I lower it. If you see red lines, you'll see which ones match. Those are probably UFOs. It's a good little tool to have. Um, I reveal all this in memberships because I want you to join. But uh, you'll get the names for all my products. All, all the all the tools I use, I mean, you'll get the names of them. But as you can see, no, I don't see nothing. See the line? It's showing you two small UFOs. So let's check that out. Right here. So this one right between those two planets. I can't magnify this, but with this tool I can. So right underneath it, there's a ship or something. That's a piece of rock right there. Let me show you again. I don't usually do, I don't usually show this a lot, but I'm gonna show it this time. See, and as you can see, I'm gonna look right under that rock. That's a little craft. And that craft is why I, it's identical by 0.10% similarity. So it could just be two rocks looking the same. Um, but for the most part, there's not a lot of clones. Let's just keep upping it. See, there's a few. So you got some UFOs surrounding that thing or some similar rocks. But I actually just think they're all different size rocks and some of them are similar by 14% or 0.414%. Minimal detail. We up the detail. Maximum. See, maximum detail. We're looking at these two items. So, then you get more chances of being a UFO. Anyways, that's in my thinking. That's how I look at it. I'm not a scientist with all this. If you go by auto detail, auto contrast will give you um, automatically will separate it from what it's around. So that's a hard one. Um, look at the clone device. There's two small ones here too that are exactly the same. So I'm gonna say the one out here is pointing to, and the one out here are UFOs. Now, <clears throat> we definitely know this is a UFO, and there's only one kind of it. This looks like a UFO, right? See all these rocks? Let me show you another picture. Hang on. Now, check this out, guys. Remember the snapshot of this whole array of stuff? Let's do it by contrast, by channel, so it'll add color if there is any. Okay, so we have, like, small object right here. You see this? Look at that. What in the world are we looking at? This first time I looked at this. Look at all these little orbs out here. There's all kinds of devices you don't see with your eye. But this thing is definitely a alien. Now, MUFON has contacted me. Now, I'm not a real... I'm the kind of guy that talks about a lot of alien stuff. Um, but I've shown you Anunnaki on one of my videos, which is now in the membership library. I'm sorry to say if you're not in there. Um, but a lot of that I can release. E uh, YouTube's starting to give me a little bit of slack here to do this. I'm not getting a lot of hits yet, but now look at all this that's on around this right here. This round object. Is it a planet? Okay, and I'll show you this under uh, the filter and we'll do some work on that. Right up here you have a number of like metal looking objects. Now if I go by contrast by channel, histogram's a little bit different. And actually I'm not a scientist so I don't understand it completely. But you see uh, look at that dude's wearing some sunglasses. I'm telling you. Now videos like this are going to go into memberships archive. Um, when they come out on your end, some of the things I might just show for two days and then I'll put it away and give you a different version of it because I don't want to get slapped no fines, you know, and best traffic for this stuff is YouTube and Facebook. 
Facebook's a ridiculous amount of traffic. Um, but it operates different. So there's a lot of stuff out here, guys. And uh, I'm gonna wait to, I can't wait to turn these lights. I see a lot of faces. I don't understand all the demonic faces and skulls. You know, it, it's ridiculous. Okay, now let's go to cloning device. Right out the bat, we got like, looks like two UFOs right there. What I like about this forensic tool is that it's accurate. Now, I'm magnifying up to eight. Let's magnify less. So we're looking for these UFOs, actually. It's right over here somewhere. Let me take the histogram, put on auto contrast, which would be like real time what you see. So I haven't done this. Look at that little one popped up. If I change the similarity, I'm going to see more. But this looks like something hitting something. And there's like blue kachina or something there. But let's look at this area. Yeah, there's a craft right there, guys. So, you know, if you're not afraid, there's a reason you're here and there's a reason you're watching this. Now, MUFON asked me if I believe this stuff is real. Um, like, you know, not just like that, but what do I think about it? I think I'm finding stuff I don't understand. Look at that, guys. I don't know. You tell me. This thing's pretty accurate. Look at that. That's man-made right there, or alien-made, whatever. Fallen angels. So I don't I don't believe in aliens so much. I believe in fallen angels, watchers. Look at this. I've been noticing this thing. It's like a rock here. The one over here. These are asteroids. These are rocks right there. They're called, you know, that's like a Chevy truck right there. All this other stuff is just debris. Now, do, is it space junk? It might be space junk, so I don't want to sound like a total idiot. A lot of it could be space junk, and then they're dealing with it. But this right here, this edge right there, it looks like something hit this planet, or let's say it was like right there, right? Let's say this is a ship. And it looks like some debris hit it, and it lit up. That's my story on this. Now, this object right there looks man-made man or alien-made or fallen angel-made. However you want to say it, it's it's beyond my mind. Um, it's otherworldly. Look at that face. Looks like, that looks like Spider-Man. So I don't know. Or is it, is it spiritual? Is it in the spirit realm? I don't believe so. I think it's in the natural realm. Is it spirit realm driven? Like demonically driven? Yeah, I actually believe that a lot of this is. There's your, oh, look at Look guys, TRB, right? TR3B? There you go, with lights on each end. That's a cool picture. And I'm gonna hold it there for a second because I'm gonna take a snapshot of it, okay. Got that, and I turned my camera shutter. Look at this thing. And, you know, I'm trying to make this short, but I think I'm having too much fun, so I'm gonna go as long as I want. I like the faces, now that one looks like Zeus. Hey. hey. Now, I'm a full-blown Holy Ghost, blood-washed Christian, guys. And I have no fear of this. I have no fear that God's allowing me to see it, find it, and show it. Now, I'm in, I'm in, a lot of this is going to be in private. I might cut some of this out. It's too revealing. And I understand they don't want mass hysteria. And um, I don't see my numbers really going up and nothing yet. I'm hoping they are. I'm hoping they open it up on so I can get people in the private community and they want to watch us talk they can't so there anyways that's my goal is to create a private community investigating and I'm gonna bring you stuff like this I might do it for an hour and a half I might do the rest of this for an hour and a half see that's that's gonna be the power of it so okay let me go to another picture it's gonna be like just mind twisting hang on okay I'm back over here in my uh, editing studio you guys, did you see the video this morning? See that uh, tic-tac-toe square? That is some kind of Borg stuff. Now, I don't know if that's what they call the Texas Cube coming down. And the colors, what happens when I use a filter, sometimes it will just increase the saturation. So the colors are actually there. They're just exaggerated. Um, there's definitely some UFOs in that thing, too. Let's get back to what we're talking about. I go ramble on any of this. This stuff is incredible, Phil. 
Phil's got some, I'm going to show you, Phil's got some incredible stuff right now. I'm going to tell you. It's hard to keep up with the mind-blowing pictures he's sending me. Um, this was a Maximize I, I use a thousand times. I don't own it. It's an Impixio product. I'd like to have it. Anybody want to donate it, I'll give you the price. And I'm serious. I would use that thing all the time. Let me just go to the, one of the pictures that are not. I was testing the Impixio product, actually. Um, okay, let me get to the pictures. I'm getting a little glitchy here. Okay, this one. This one right here. Yeah. Not real clear. It's clear enough. Um, I'm going to show you this filter. This is not a maximizer. This is just your regular filter. I can bring it in and out. Um, let me close this. I got a short window on here because of the other page. Right here, you can see that ship right there. Come on, guys. Look at that thing. You see, these are rocks. Now, let me give you my, um, I guess it would be my theory. Would they call that a theory in my hypothesis? I'm not sure. I'm not a scientist or very educated in those areas. But I do know how to look at stuff. Now, this is a spaceship for sure. I think they would call that a cigar. If you look at a different angle, it's a saucer. It's got objects underneath it. Um, right here. We looked in this area. That's a huge rock. And there's a ship. Now, my, my theory on this, my thoughts on this, my opinion on this, my presumption maybe of this is that this one I thought are we looking at a stargate and a ship coming through it now that's my sci-fi talking from watching TV for 60 years look at this orange thing and I looked at it close it looks like a ship right there and I think one of the cloning devices showed a ship there okay that looked like a ship too but my other thought is what if this is a device that the United States has created or Russia or somebody and it collects asteroids which is brilliant bravo great i sleep better but i don't think so um so you ever watch stargate what if this is a stargate that goes you know boom this is what it really looks like and this ship comes through that's my sci-fi now the real if the debris fields are as big as they say what if there are vehicles that elon musk created that put a force field around this, like a tractor beam, let's really get sci-fi, and is dragging this thing away from the Earth. Now, does that make you happy? Yeah. So, or, you tell me. Because I ain't never seen anything like this, and I've looked at a lot of things beside the sun. I've never been able to have someone with a filter as clear as this. So, let's go back to the other side, and I'm going to show you one of these. Hang on. Okay, so now I'm back over my uh, my forensic studio right here. I can't. It's actually better to bring this back. It brings more clarity to this tool. But right here, this orange object, not on fire, and it is orange. You see the little orbs around it. You know, you hear stuff about uh, they're using the, uh, technology to move asteroids away from our system. Well, if there are alien UFOs out there, which there are, that are not maybe from our dimension or whatever, they're moving this stuff around. What if this is a blown up ship, like the series called Debris? And stuff is falling. And what if this is debris? And they've actually just made a movie of it. So there you go. But this ship right here is mind blowing. I'm on the auto contrast. I'm going slow because I want you to observe. You know, and as crazy as it sounds, um, if I didn't have this device, I would look at this and go, what in the world? But I wouldn't be able to look at it this close. This is about, what you're looking at right now is about 
one twelve hundred percent more closer twelve hundred percent closer twelve hundred percent twelve hundred times closer you could actually see the hatches on this thing I did yesterday when I was looking at it. look at that little that that I believe is an orb or a nano orb or whatever maybe it's some, just a small orb maybe it's a big orb I don't know perspective I can't give you on this now if I had like the space station next to it that would be great because then you could say wow look how big it is so on the right there after I filtered it um, you know I, I'm not sure if it was a lens from the Sun simulator okay but it gave a purple hue but we've been seeing a lot of purple skies so I'm gonna just assume it's the Sun simulator putting out it purple hues we're picking up we got UFOs looking like they're moving stuff around let's go to the clone detector no clones have been detected try lowering the similarity so let's see if we just anything similar there you go we found something let's check out these two yeah so you can't get it clear enough though we'll try something else um, let's go auto contrast by channel let's make sure we're on the right one this one and right here this one no doesn't make much difference but because they're clones I would say they look alike um, also right in here this red thing you can really pick out those orbs is this a piece of a broken ship is it a disc? Look at that edge on it. It's very man-made looking. You know, very not natural. And is it being driven somewhere? Look at these rocks right here. Come on, it's like a pearl of rocks. That one's lit up a little bit. Five hours in the bank. Huh? This, and this one right here is definitely like the other one. It's amazing, huh? I've never, I, I would never thought of seeing stuff like this, ever. There's your clone device. These guys are the same. Let's go high similarity. See what we get. Um, high similarity, the minimal detail. We got something. There you go. Look at that, folks. So we got something over here by the Sun Simulator. That's, um, minimal similarity, but minimum detail they could just be rocks that look like other rocks right? so let's look at the size of them let's go through a bigger size larger rocks let's see if we could detect something on that nothing minimal clusters let's go a lot of clusters so as you do this you can see you can actually pick out and I'm only using a couple features today maximum in size let's go big uh, 2,000. Look at this. Oh my word. You see that light up? Maximum image size. Bye. Let's go maximum block size. And maximum cluster size. Let's see what we get. Sometimes it will throw you 15 things. So, you know, UFOs hunting is getting better for me. So when you find a cluster of stuff beside the sun, send me your pictures, and I'll put the uh, address. It's in, it's in the information down below by the Join the Membership button. Haha. <laughs> I had to say that because I want you guys to join the memberships and get unlimited pictures because I'm, I'm actually holding back. So let's go to Magnifier, take a few more of these rocks out, and I'll go to another picture. This is about 20 minutes already, so this might be another video, and I'll show you part of it on the on the first video. This might even become a series. I don't know, Phil. Keep sending this stuff in. So Phil's one of my uh, free researchers that found me. He said, "What do you think?" And I said, "Let's put it under the lights." And this is what you get right here. It's like Forrest Gump said, "Life's like a box of chocolates." Now, if you want to become a hunter for all this stuff and don't have time to hunt let me hunt for you pay the four dollars and 99 cents take all the footage you want I mean if you were to go to uh, I went to an Aurora artistic type place where you buy Aurora's 
And let me tell you how much they wanted for the Auroras. 12 seconds, use it one time, it was $750, 2K. So, I'm offering you for $499, unlimited over 70,000, probably over 70,000 pieces of raw info. Now right here, you might want to get rid of my voice, take this video, and tell everybody what you think it is. Because let me tell you something, I'm not a scientist, but I got eyeballs. So do you. So some of you are just starting your channels. It's just a good deal. I'm giving myself a little uh, upsell, okay? And don't be offended if I do that. Look what I'm showing you. Come on, folks. There ain't... I don't think there's anybody using this tool I got. Now, I'll tell you what. You buy the big package, I'll really make it sweet. Buy the big package, I'll give you this tool. I'll tell you exactly where to get it, how to get it, how to pay for it. And let's say you have the, f the big package for two months. And you're not you're not happy because seventy thousand pictures are just not too many, right? Then guess what? I'll give you. You could just stop anytime. I'm not gonna give you a refund. I can't guarantee you a refund because you know YouTube's tied into it, and they're not gonna do that. So look at these little rocks. Are you getting it? Okay, I'm gonna show you something on a filter. It's gonna blow your mind. Hang on. Okay, we're back on the filtering side of things. Let me show you this. If I remember, I did a lot of work yesterday and I, I just totally crashed. But if I contrast this thing, I want to show you what's inside this cluster. I thought about this theory that these are rings and this is a giant asteroid in the middle of this thing. So let me just play around and you guys give me your opinion. Right, like right down here, you see this dark shape right here? Inside this ring right here? Yeah, and what if all this debris around it is just, you know, um, pieces breaking off of it as they grab it. And if they're using, like, maybe some kind of electronic, you know, electromagnetic device, a tractor beam. You know, it sounds kind of like far-fetched, but, like, look at that spaceship. That's far-fetched to me. Hello. I'm just a guy over here, you know, retired, trying to mind my own business. Somehow I got caught into being able to see this stuff. Um, if you ever go to Gina Hill's site, she shows stuff that's more weird than this. Tell Gina Hill I sent you so she'll send me some people over here. But she shows some really weird stuff and it, you know, it just proves to me that this is more real than we know. Um, these little rocks, some of them are ships. Um, can't, just can't say it better than that. I'm trying to think what else I could show you. I might do this for a little bit. Look at these little, like, like little windows or portals, right? And here's the bottom of the ship. You can see it's kind of round. Like if you, you know, it's like if you've seen a sci-fi movie and this thing was flipped over. I think I got a version of that flipped over. Hang on. Oh, look at this one. It's beautiful. So close. Look how close that one is. Wow. Now I can get rid of this blurry stuff. It's called noise. Let's reduce the noise. Reduce your noise and add clarity. There you go, folks. About as good as I can get it. Um, Con contrast darkens it up though. A little bit better. Okay, well you get the jest, right? Exposure. Light it up a little bit. Nah, take the light down. Anyways. That's a good shot right there. You can get a really good picture of that ring. And it seems like another ring and another ring. This, th this thing right here. Is it a width of this ring? It's not two rings. I think that's the width of that ring. And this is like alien looking to me. Otherworldly. Okay. Some of you guys are not even going to make it to the end of this video. But it doesn't matter to me no more. Because some of you actually are, you know, MUFON people that might catch this stuff. And I'm just telling you now. What if this whole thing. See this back here? The way I see this, this could be another, this, I flipped it around, I think. Yeah, I flipped it around on the right side. 
Because you see this band right here? It's kind of obfuscated, whatever. It's like a flat bottom. What if this thing is a huge ship? So it goes back. I don't know. You know, it's presumptuous, but you know, you rock a scientist out there, send me an email, tell me what you see. These clusters of rocks right here, for some, some strange reason, I do not think they are um, actually rocks or drones. They're more like drones because these things can fly around. Maybe the magnetic field in this thing, as I'm assuming, is just lining them up like that. So, you know, like a bunch of marbles, a bunch of magnets, they line up and stick. So maybe this thing is just a tractor beam pulling rocks out of our atmosphere. Thank God. I hope so. But there's something else I found. I got an EMI picture. Oh, where is that? I do not know. I won't try to find it now. But anyways, I think I better like cut this one. I think I'll do more on this later. This is going to be like a 35, 40 minute video. But you got to admit, there's some amazing stuff right there. Look at that. You can just see the orbs. Yeah, I, I, it took so long to put this out. Because I can't stop looking at it to really see what it is. Because it's mind-boggling. For me. I mean, I'm not a scientist. You might have, like... You might even know what this is. You better email me, alright? It's TV 18 at gmail.com. C A F I T V 18 at gmail.com. And uh, let's collaborate, whatever this is. Talk to you later. Look down below, it says join. At least watch the video. You don't have to pay no money to watch the video. The video is seven minutes long. So if you're one of my fans, I'm asking you for a favor. At least take a look at it. I'm not saying you have to pay it. You're going to see everything, anyways. I want to show you guys everything everywhere. So. I have four channels, five channels, and they're all going to grow up. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.